construction of Helms Pump Storage Power Plant was completed in June of 1984. After the plant was tested and within days of being put online, power needs within the system reached new highs and the plant began to supply vitally needed peak power. Helms Pump Storage Power Plant is located 50 miles east of Fresno on the North Fork of the Kings River. There are three other power plants on this river, Haas, Balch, and Kings River. These plants are normal hydroelectric plants, but Helms is not. Helms is invisible from the air or ground. Courtright Lake and Wishon Lake are two reservoirs in the High Sierra, built in 1958. Between them, there is an elevation difference of about 1,700 feet and a mountain of solid granite. PG&E drilled and blasted over four miles of tunnel between the two reservoirs. These tunnels were excavated to a 30-foot width and concrete lined. They are 27 feet in diameter. You could place a cabin cruiser end-to-end -end across any of these tunnels. To generate power, water from the highest lake, Lake Courtright, travels down these tunnels. Dropping over 1,900 vertical feet, the water passes through the turbines. These turbines are connected by a shaft to electric generators. Each armature and turbine assembly weighs over 780 tons. They rotate at 360 revolutions per minute. The turbine generators are located in the underground powerhouse. The powerhouse is a chamber the height of a 10-story building. It's 83 feet wide and is longer than a football field. All of this is 1,000 feet below the surface of a solid granite mountain. Access is through a 4,000-foot tunnel. Inside this powerhouse are the control room and the three turbine generators. Each generator is capable of producing 400,000 kilowatts of power. When all three generators are in operation, the plant can supply 1,200,000 kilowatts of electricity to the PG&E system. That's more than enough power to operate the city of San Francisco with no other power source. During the day and early evening hours, homes, factories, and farms create maximum demand for electricity. It's during this peak demand period that Helms generates power. Later, when demand tapers off, the plant's turbines are stopped, and the generators become motors, reversing the turbines, which become pumps, returning the water used during the day back to the upper lake. This uphill pumping uses energy supplied at off-peak times by high-efficiency baseload plants, which would otherwise be partly idle. Helms was constructed within the PG&E hydroelectric system. Courtright, as well as Wishon reservoirs, were both in existence prior to the installation of the power plant. There was no new construction on the river, and the facility did not alter water usage or availability downstream. The plant is now barely noticeable to the campers and fishermen who visit the area. Access roads and campgrounds have been carefully placed to avoid disturbance of wilderness. Water levels in the lakes change daily as the water flows between them. This does not affect the wildlife, water quality, or recreational usage of the lakes. Helms is a state-of-the-art hydroelectric plant. It may be invisible, but it's delivering reliable and much-needed peak load power to PG&E customers from a reusable resource, truly a mountain of power.